It's time now for another edition of the Can Elta Hotels AGHL Coaches Show, and I'm pleased to be joined by Ryan Reckner. He's the head coach of the Drayton Valley Thunder and newly appointed head coach. Ryan, now, first of all, just want to say thanks for taking the time before a big game here in Short Park against the Crusaders to uh, join us on the show here. But uh, let's get uh, let's get right at it. Uh, when you were approached about the the job uh, here in Drayton Valley, uh, you were in Spruce Grove. You're assistant coach with the Saints with uh, Bram Steven. Talk about getting that call, and how long did you have to decide to uh, to take the job? Yeah, it was it was sort of a, an unusual circumstance. Um, you know, I think leaving your team third of the way through the season is is not an ideal way to start. Um, you know, your own journey, but at the same time, that's sort of how how it played out. And and for me, it was you know, I looked at it as a as an opportunity, and uh, you know, I've used that word a lot since I've I've been in Drayton Valley, and. And uh, I think that's the truth. It's a good opportunity for myself to to, to get started and um, and my family and, and a chance to work with a GM that is that is very passionate and, and very good at that job specifically. So that portion of it is is exciting and, and to have a, a chance to you know potentially you know turn an organization around and get things going in the right direction is, is certainly exciting. And it was very quick turnaround for you. I know you had a couple days uh, to, to to decide. Uh, what was the timeline uh, that Joey Bouchard gave you? Was it say, you know, hey, let's uh, let's get you on board here and let's get going? Yeah, it was a little bit crazy. I uh, I quit my 13-year you know career uh, that I started when I was you know fresh out of high school, and that was you know a little bit stressful uh, to some degree. Yeah. But at the same time, it was you know it sort of became an easy decision uh, as time went on. Uh, this is something I've I've always had a, a passion for, and I've always wanted to do so. It, you know, after having a chance to sit with Joey and his wife on three or four occasions, you know, over the course of three days, you know, it just became very clear that, you know, you know, let's do this. Well, absolutely. And, you know, Joey's a good guy to work with. He, he turned around the, the White Core Wolverines when they came into uh, the league moving from St. Albert and really got them uh, to where, essentially where they are now with uh, Gord taking over there. But uh, for you... You're, uh, you're kind of a career minor hockey coach, and then you got an opportunity with the Spruce Grove Saints with Michael Ringrose. Uh, what's your coaching style? What's uh, Ryan Reckner uh, like behind the bench? I, I like my teams to be competitive. It needs to be you know, a situation where you know, it matters to you. I, I want to make sure we're bringing in good people, uh, first and foremost. Uh, you know, people that are you know, excited to be a part of you know, the solution and, and not the problem. The negativity, the culture... Um, you know, in Drayton Valley that is, is, has been there for, it seems like, a long time. You know, that's certainly a piece that I'm going to try and dial myself into and, and, and make little adjustments. I think my, my experience, my time in Spruce Grove, you know, really served me well. I, I got a chance to coach with Mike, and, uh, you know, he certainly taught me a lot. Um, and then this year, obviously, Bram is, as well. Uh, learned a lot from him at the same time. So, you know, I'm just hoping to, uh, you know, share some of the things that I learned about you know, a team that is very successful and has been for a while. Um, the culture piece of it, you know, being the foundation. So, you know, I've start, I sort of started there. I, I haven't come in and, and changed every single thing. I've sort of worked within some of the structure they had in place. But, um, yeah, I'm certainly making some changes that reflect, you know, my coaching style. Well, you're 3-3 three and three at the helm with the Thunder right now as you took over uh, in the early part of November. What maybe was the first thing that you noticed that you and maybe you alluded to with the culture but maybe specifically on ice you know what was something that you wanted to change or needed to identify with this group just a sense of of mediocre or mediocrity in the in the dressing room um you know it was very very light i think there's certainly a balance between being light and um and being focused and dialed in and and uh you know really you know making sure that you're capturing all the little details and um, I think that was the biggest thing, you know, and that might have been a little bit of a surprise for some of the guys coming in, but I think, you know, I give the group a lot of credit. They've, you know, been very good, and, you know, the leadership group has been fantastic. They've made this transition for me very easy, um, but we're certainly, uh, we've got a long way to go, so, you know, I'm excited to, to work with the group that we have for the time being and, and uh, you know, help both uh, the individuals in the room and, and, and the team uh, have success here. Well, there certainly are some positives with your group, and specifically in goal, time in Edelcourt the third. Uh, what a very impressive save percentage, uh, over 900, 914 off the top of my head, I want to say. And when you have a goaltender that uh, is putting up those numbers, I, I think in this league, if you have a save percentage over 900, 
most likely you're doing something good. Just talk about what he brings to the table. And he's a guy that, you know, I see him prepare before games at one end of the rink. It seems like he's dialed in when he knows he's getting the start. He, he wants to play every day. And he's, uh, he's ultra competitive. He's, he's a good person. Um, and, and he gives us a chance to win every time he's in the net. He's, um, you know, before I got here, I, I didn't know much about him. I had only seen him in one, uh, the last game that we played them in Spruce Grove. And, uh, you know, my sample size obviously wasn't very big. But when I got here, I, I noticed immediately the impact that he had on this group and um, just the way the group plays when he's in there. Um, but at the same time, I think, you know, there's a, a lot of room for our group to, to grow when it comes to playing in front of him and, and how that needs to look on a consistent basis so that it's, you know, not a situation where we're leaning on our goaltender too much. But he's, he's certainly been fantastic. Up front uh, as well, you know, you got uh, a nice eclectic mix of guys that uh, are from afar, whether it's uh, out east or from the States. Uh, and Joey Bouchard has done a nice job of uh, restocking the cupboards uh, for you. What can you describe or, or how do you describe your forward group uh, when you're asked about them? Yeah, there, there's a good mix. You're right. It's, I think coming into this, we, I looked at team building as being a big thing. I think we need to find a, you know, be creative and find, find ways to, you know, bring this group a little closer and, you know, you certainly get that in the rural communities. The, you know, they're, they're sort of forced to spend time together. They're all billets. And, um, you know, we there's a lot of community involvement in Drayton Valley specifically. That's one thing I've picked up on since I've arrived. And we just want to keep that going. You know, we want to start developing strong relationships from, you know, both a coach-player standpoint and, you know, between our players. That portion of it for me is, you know, is, is the glue to making it all work. So... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue to force family fun on the group and, and make it enjoyable. But at the same time, you know, have high expectations. Yeah. Well, on the ice uh, and offensively too, since you took over, you've been able to improve on the goals four. You were one of the, the lowest scoring teams in the league, but you put up six uh, on several occasions uh, in, in your victories uh, at, with you at the helm. What's working right offensively for you guys right now? I, I just, I don't think I've overwhelmed them with structure. I think there's been sort of a good mix there. Yeah where they, you know, they have the ability to, you know, anticipate a little bit and, and make plays and, and, and use space and, and those types of things. So I think they've, uh, you know, sort of bought into that to start with. And as time goes on, I think I will, you know, I'll certainly provide them with, with more information to give them a, an opportunity to be successful. But I think that's been a big part of it. Um, you know, anytime a new coach starts, I'd be lying if I told you that probably didn't play a part. Um, but yeah, that's been a big surprise and, and certainly is you know, been a, a big part of the success we've we've had so far. And on the back end, too, uh, you, you want to have a group that uh, can keep the puck out of the net. And, you, and like you said, you don't want to just lean on your goaltender. Is the message to, uh, you know, the, at least the defensive core or even just when you have five guys on the ice is that we got to play as a unit. That's going to be the best way how we're going to be able to uh, to defend right now. Yeah, when I arrived, they were, you know, playing a, a very structured uh, man coverage system and, you know, we, you know, when Joy came in, this is prior to me arriving, they, they'd made that change and, and started to, uh, you know, establish more of his own structure. And I think that, uh, you know, really helped the group. Um, but again, that takes time. It's a big change. And, you know, they're used to doing things, uh, you know, one way. And now this is, you know, it's something new. So it's, you know, it's it certainly, uh, it took a lot from the guys to really buy into that and, um, and be coachable and, um, you know, really buy into to what we were selling. And I think they've done that. Um, Certainly a lot to learn uh, moving forward, but I think we're, we're on the tra right track. We're, we're improving a little bit every, every day, and that's sort of been my, you know, my message on a consistent basis so far. Yeah, it seems, you know, you're a, a big guy in terms of teaching the game, and when I, I just mentioned to you off camera that, uh, you know, I saw you going to the board a lot uh, when you were in here in Sherwood Park uh, taking on the Crusaders. Uh, any chance you get, are you always trying to... to explain to teach it seems that uh, you're trying to hammer down a few things and and really integrate your methods in the group right now whether that's uh, off the ice and and during a game well yeah the, the individual teaching is huge um you know working with with both mike and bram the last couple of years the video was a huge piece of it but the on ice portion especially early you need to make sure that you're you know there is that accountability there is that the detail if you're going to speak about details you need to make sure that you're you know, constantly going over those things. Um, and eventually it'll be something where, you know, it starts to click and, and it, it becomes something that, uh, you know, everybody can sort of rely on. And it's tough to accomplish that early on. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I certainly do believe in that. All right, going forward, what do you feel uh, is the ceiling for this team? Uh, I mean, is 
are you feeling the playoffs are are capable of achieving right now? I mean, Lloyd Minster is within striking distance, and you know you get a win here tonight against Shrewd Park. Uh, you know, the gap closes uh, on them as well. Uh, is the the mission right now still playoffs? I, I would say that our message is that we need to focus on the task at hand and and sort of take that approach with this group. Uh, in my experience so far, I've only been here for 11 days, but it's. You know, that certainly seems like the more pro most appropriate message for, for our group. You know, we've got a group that, you know, is all in and wants to, to contribute and, um, and, you know, get this team back into playoff contention. So that's exciting. Uh, we try not to look at the standings too much. I think it's something you certainly do. Um, it's natural, but at the same time, we need to certainly focus on what our process looks like and, and our game plan. And I think if we can do that, you know, when we add it all up and, you know, playoffs come around we hopefully are in a spot where we're competing for one of those spots well ryan thanks a lot for uh, joining me here on the can alto hotels ajhl coaches show really appreciate you taking the time before a game here in short park uh, good luck the rest of the way congratulations on uh, the head coaching job and once again thank you very much awesome thank you very much